Hello and welcome everybody. In this video, I want to show you how you can achieve the editing style of Johannes Hulsch, a German landscape photographer who is um, rather big on Instagram right now uh, with his own unique um, post-processing style. And here you can already see some of his most recent pictures. Also, I've made a small Lightroom preset which you can download for free if you don't know how to handle all the Lightroom settings so you can just download it via the download link in the description. Let's jump into the editing but before that here are the before and after images. Alright so that's the shot I'm going to edit and the first thing I want to do is adjust the colors and the camera calibration tab slightly therefore I'm increasing the red and green primary hue and then I'm going to decrease the blue ones. Okay, then I want to activate the lens correction settings and then I want to adjust the overall exposure um, of my image accordingly. Therefore, therefore I want to reduce the highlights, increase the shadows also, I want to increase the whites and um, slightly decrease the blacks. Now, depending on what you want to achieve, you can either increase the clarity or decrease the clarity. I think uh, Johannes does use both techniques in his pictures. So that's really up to you. In this case, I'm just going to increase it a little bit just to get some more contrast. And now comes a really important part. Um, basically, that's what uh, crushing the blacks means, which a lot of photographers do. You want to change the tone curve slightly. Therefore, you drag this little spot on the left bottom corner up. And you can already see how the blacks um, kind of get crushed. But you don't want to overdo this. And now I'm doing the same thing with the highlights. Therefore, I'm using the right upper spot and just drag them down. Now another important thing for his editing style is the color saturation. He either has a kind of desaturated image or, or he pushes one color extremely high. Um, I think most of the times it's the blue colors he is pushing, um, but for this example I just want to decrease the saturation of most of the color tones. So let's do this real quick. And if you are wondering why I'm not reducing the red color saturation, it's because I want to have some kind of color coming out of my picture. Uh, that's the red one of the house on the left side. I could also increase it a little bit. And then of course the split toning also plays a vital role in uh, his editing style. Um, it's pretty safe to assume that he uh, goes for the orange teal split toning settings. So for the highlights just choose a warmer color. And I want to desaturate this one a little bit. And then for the shadows, go with something more in the blue color section. Somewhere around here. And again, I'm decreasing the strength. Now I also want to adjust the balance so that the shadows get more affected by the split toning than the highlights. Now, if you want, you can of course add a lot of sharpening. It's not necessary, but I always want to have some sharp pictures. And last but not least, I'm also adding some vignetting to the image. And that was it for this um, real quick tutorial on how to edit like Johannes Hulsch. As said before, I made a preset which you can download for free. You can find the link in the description. And if you'd like to check out the work of Johannes Hulsch, I also copy the link of his Instagram feed to the video description. I hope this video was helpful and if you'd like to see more content like this then feel free to subscribe to my channel. And as always, thank you really much for watching this video.